going to talk a little bit louder. Uh, so, uh, my name's Ray Ray. Uh, sillyfucker.com is my website. I am a silly fucker. You can go to that website and see me uh, dancing my tongue. Actually, <laughs> true story. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, it was my birthday this week. I turned uh, 36. Thank you. Thank you, little man. And, uh, to tell you the truth, I can really feel like I'm getting older. You know what I mean? Like I got hemorrhoids and shit, I had to get MRI, lower back pain, all that shit. But I really didn't know I was getting older until yesterday when I sat on my balls. That was like the defining moment of my age. And seriously, if you never sat on your balls before, you will. Because gravity always wins. I swear, my grandfather told me when he got blue balls was every time he went to the bathroom in a porta potty. Saggy balls, man. Saggy balls. Oh, man. So, uh, my, my wife knows a lot about my balls. We've been together 17 years now. And uh, we have a lot of sex. Although, a lot of sex. Still, yes. yes. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we got like a, re a weekly routine going, we figured it out, and uh, I'm going to break it down for you, okay? <laughs> we start off the week on Mondays, right? We have a threesome on Mondays, see? I tape a life-size picture of her face on the back of her head, and I do her doggy style. Looks back, looks back, looks back, and it was great. It was great for a really long time. And then she got like emotional one day, like turned over on me, crying, was like, you're paying more attention to her. <laughs> what? Are you fucking serious? So, so I figure, you know, we, we give her a break and on Tuesday we play lesbians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I duct tape my dick and balls back and we just go at it and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The benefit to me is I got the smoothest taint in the world. <laughs> Uh, the benefit for her is she gets to rip the tape off every Wednesday. <laughs> Speaking of Wednesdays, that's S and M night for us. <laughs> Wednesdays is good old S and M day. We do uh, what what we we've come to love is the rabbit dog. See, I put my wife on her knees, right? Fuck her face. <clears throat> And I come all up in her mouth and I just slap her and start choking her. <laughs> she will look like a rabbit dog. She loves it. She fucking loves it. I swear to God. Loves it. So we take Thursdays off for her. We do some yoga. No, <laughs> go on Thursdays. And that brings us to Fridays. <laughs> the clam bake. So uh, well, the clear bake is basically, you know, when, when we go to bed, I, I'm always the big spoon. And I cuddle my baby and love you, baby. You know, but I toss a turn at night, so sometimes I wind up the little spoon and she's hugging me in the morning, right? So when I fart in the morning to open up her clam, I call that the clam bake. Because you got to cook a clam to open it. We all know this. We all know this. <laughs> So uh, Saturday we're still working on a game. It's called uh, Bunny Sniffs and Fish Sticks. We haven't really uh, come up with the rules yet, but I'll get back to you on that. And then Sundays, we don't really do anything. You heathens, you heathens. Nah, I'm kidding, we find a confessional. We'll be doing it in a confessional. <laughs> All right, so uh, on the flip side, um, you know, knowing my wife for 13 years, she's a big sport, you know, uh, but I also know how to get her mad. And uh, I'm gonna give you fellas any, any, you know, an idea how to drop like a, a time-sensitive bomb in your girlfriend's brain. Tell her to bleach her taint. Yes, bleach her taint, my girl. I said that to her one day, and like the next day she was like looking in the mirror and shit. Like, what the fuck? Really? Really? Is it that big? And then she started getting in the mirror and she was like one leg up on the sink and shit. And then she Googled it and all that, and she found out that porn stars really bleach their taint. It's true. But she didn't go so far as to bleach her taint. Ooh. Instead, she got a tattoo with three roses around her asshole. I tell you, it doesn't make it smell any better, but it is a facelift. I mean, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love roses. I love roses. <laughs> so, 
right, so uh, thank, that, that, that's enough about my girl. You know, she puts up with a lot of my shit. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you. I mean, she, she even lets me go to strip clubs, and uh, I tell you, I, I love strippers and strip clubs because uh, that's like God's art museum. I know a lot of me, you women don't understand it, you men do. I mean, you, you have all of God's pretty artwork there, and it's beautiful, and strippers are so funny. Uh, why are strippers no good at sucking dick, by the way? Because they're only worried about the tip. <laughs> really. They're rotten, rotten. But anyway. Uh, I, I'm in there one day and I'm talking to a girl and I, I, I get to the, the greatest stories out there like this girl She pops off her thong right right in front of me, right? And, and she's got a milk dud in it. You know what a milk dud is, right? A little brown spot on the back of a g-string Well, I guess I'm like dude, what the fuck's up with that milk dud? You got a milk dud in your ass. She turns to me. I swear to God straight face as can be She's like yeah, if you stick a milk dud in your ass, it's like a breath mint for your asshole. I was like, yeah, that makes complete sense. If I was going to eat your ass, I prefer there were milk duds in it. A little late on the milk duds. Speaking of milk duds, uh, we found out my girl was a diabetic when I dipped my balls in chocolate and put her in a coma. What do you call a lesbian dinosaur? A lick a lot of puss. They only eat fish. Alright, so two blondes are sitting in the park one night. The one looks at the other and says, Which do you think is further, the moon or Florida? The friend replies, What are you fucking stupid? I can see the moon. Blondes, pull out two. Alright, a man asks his wife, who's a philosophy teacher, to tell him something that will make him both the happiest man and the saddest man at the same time. She looks him straight in the eye and says, you've got the biggest dick of all your friends. <laughs> good, good. Alright, so uh, here's some things I think about in my crazy ass brain. I smoke a lot of weed and I'm up really late at night. Uh, th th this is the result. Why do people make the same noise when they're shitting as when they're coming? <laughs> Why is that? Really? Too much me. Too much me. Alright, so. Why is a therapist... Does anybody have a therapist in here? Why is a therapist spelled the rapist? They're fucking robbing you. Really? Why are you wasting your time? They're fucking robbing you, I swear. Alright, so, uh, does anybody know the best butt cheek to pussy lip ratio? What? Butt cheek to pussy lip ratio. Four to one. God, I love it. Right in here. Right in here. That's the hot spot. Best ratio. Hey, I just throw the shit against the wall. Some of it sticks, people. Some of it sticks. So, uh, I love pickles. And I was wondering the other day, if I stick a cucumber in a stinky sour veg, will it become a pickle? I do love pickles. I, I was wondering, do you ever notice that you swim faster when you fart? Did you a little speed burst? You know, you know what the worst sexually transmitted disease is? Kids. <laughs> Fucking God, I bet all of you are fucking infected. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, where do the wise never fuck a Russian girl? They never take their time. Always in a fucking rush. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> so, uh, I had to put my cat down the other day. It was real sad for me, but uh, I had to look at it on the bright side. Now, I'm a pussy killer. Girl, I be killing them. I be killing them, girl. I be killing them. I be killing them. <laughs> uh, so, uh, pussy must be fattening because I'm gaining weight. Really, I, I came like 15 pounds every piss month. Alright, so uh, I was up late one night watching an infomercial, right? So I'm, I'm going to tell you one of my inventions. Um, I seen that Snuggly commercial. All that thing is is a fucking backwards robe. That dude's making millions of dollars at the fucking backwards robe. Because he called it a snuggle. That's why. So I figured there's got to be another product out there I could turn backwards, rename it, and remarket it. Yeah. <laughs> Try 
It's the shark bark. Diarrhea tampon. I will kill it. I'm telling you, I got the fucking marketing campaign and all. It goes like this. For when you want to wear white, but your shit ain't right. The shark dark. You got to whisper the shark dark every time you say it. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking one night. <laughs> so I came up with another invention. This one's a little fucking nasty and rough, but uh, you know that video, the, the, the girl in two cups where they're eating shit? So it gave me an idea, right? The fudgesicle kit, right? I send you a box. It basically got a condom and a popsicle stick in it, right? You shit in the condom, you stick the popsicle stick in it, put it in the freezer for about an hour, you will have a homemade dildo. No batteries necessary. The fudge sickle kit. <laughs> fudge sickle. Um, I was wondering, do midgets have to fart twice as hard for us to smell it? Uh, uh, I swear I love midgets. They're like they're like nature's perfect little sex slaves. Seriously, they're like like built perfectly to the size of your junk. You know what I mean? And uh, I tell you, my dick looks so big in the little midget hands. It's amazing. I feel like such a stud. So I got a buddy, right? He's a midget. Comes over to my house for for party times, right? Party times. We call him the Rhino. The guy, he is such a little pimp, he ducks tape a dildo to his head and he just runs around, chases bitches around the party all night long, they love him. He's the Rhino. So, he's got big titties, don't you? He's the Rhino, though. That's because he's just the size of her joke. All right, I got a buddy, right? He got a one inch dick, they call him Side Stroke. I also got a buddy, he got five dicks. His pants fit like a glove. I do, I got a lot of buddies. I got a cousin, right? He's got this huge back scratcher and it's shaped like a dick. And I don't understand it. He just be like fucking scratching his back. And I'm like, dude, that's so gay. What do you call a gay guy with swagger? A gagger? Or a fagger? I mean, they're, they're easy to poke fun at. So uh, two lesbians race two gay guys across country. The girls win. Why? Always. The two gay guys were too busy packing their shit. <laughs> They're like the double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is this is how I'm gonna end my night. Wawa roast beef. <laughs> Remember when Wawa started their first uh, roast beef sandwiches? Well, my buddy asked me to write a little marketing jingle for them. And uh, here's what I came up with. It goes like this. Roast beef. Roast beef used to be hot pink. Now it's just not pink. Roast beef used to be tucked in. Now it's meat curtains. Roast beef used to look so sweet. Now it's like grandma's meat. Roast beef. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Get out of here.